Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It's been a long time without a video on my channel. The reason is that we are super busy in our shop and I rarely get a chance to make videos, but it is something that I like to share my knowledge, my experience with machines. And in particular, this, this video, on this video, we're coming to you with a CDR 2000 model Somerset the roller, the shitter, with synthetic rollers. On this unit, we are replacing the metal shitter. The reason is, this is the reason. I'll show you in a minute. So this is the roller that came off out of that unit. I don't know if you guys see the damage, how these lines, how there are, these rotors are in bad shape. Uh, this other roller came out of another unit. And this one is even worse. Let's see, you can see it here. You can see the damage. This one is not that bad, but it has some uh, scratches. Guys, if you guys these rollers with synthetic rollers, these cheaters, pardon me, uh, any Somerset with synthetic rollers will have these issues if you don't take care of the scrapers. This damage is a combination of the dry dough and the scrapers. Look at this scraper. This one is with this roller. And I'm very confident that the damage is created by the scraper and dry dough. So just for you guys to take an idea, uh, to get an idea on how expensive these rollers are, is about 758 each plus taxes and shipping. So guys, it's important for you to train your employees to clean the scrapers if, if there are bad as your bosses to replace the scrapers. I mean, you just can spend a lot of money. My customers are spending over 1600 on these two rollers on this unit that we already did the replacement, upper and middle roller already been replaced so this shit has already been serviced with new rollers but it's a lot of money to get these guys back into service so making this video today short just sharing my experience with these units will service this cheaters or replacing the rollers for example the upper is a t20 lower is a b20 and the middle doesn't have a marking because it's pretty standard it doesn't require anything special but upper and lower requires your attention for example take pictures on the position that this roller is upper I mean upper, lower, the middle. These rollers are pulled by this plate and two screws at the top, two at the bottom and one in the middle. So it's very easy to work on these units. We're also replacing the chain on this unit. We'll take a pause and we'll continue. So continuing with this video guys, I was telling you guys about how to take care of the unit. <clears throat> Again, it's very important for you guys to uh, take care of the scrapers. Um, take care of these guys. It is much cheaper to replace, to replace the, the scrapers than replace the rollers. And also have your employees uh, clean this 
this uh, scraper is very easy. I mean, you guys just need to come here and you just open the lid. There's a scraper here. At uh, the bottom, right there, you can see the springs. That's one. And the front scrapers right here. And then one last here at the bottom. It's not that complicated. They can do it one by one if they don't want to misplace once getting them back into position. So it's very easy to clean these scrapers. This unit already has been serviced with new rollers. So my advice to you to avoid this is again take care of the scraper. That's the damage on these rollers. It's crazy how they are. And that's it. We're about to finish this video. Again, my advice, take pictures when replacing upper and lower uh, roller. Picture of the chain, the position of the chain, um, the position of the upper and lower roller. And basically when removing the plate, it's best to do, even a marking, you can do a marking and that will help you with the new rollers and it'll make it it'll make your life a lot easier if you do that if you don't do that you will have uh, headaches trying to get this unit back together so it's, it's simple it's a very simple process we're gonna get the new roller inside here after I do a cleanup when I install a new roller do a clean up the inside and hope you guys like this video I don't know if there are Somerset videos on YouTube but this is uh, what we do here service equipment and we have we specialize mostly in power mixers we have our equipment here and this is the reason why we haven't been uploading any videos we have so much stuff and also we are in the process of recycling getting rid of, of um, unwanted equipment stuff that we don't need we are getting rid of, of everything that we don't need here our space is very limited so we'll be getting this shop organized pretty soon thank you for watching our video guys how i hope that this video is helpful and if removing upper and lower rollers take pictures when removing this handle again it will be very helpful this is your friend jose we are here in San Jose, California, and uh, this is our video for today. Hope that you like it. Thank you. We'll see you soon with another video. Take care.